getting ready for the weigh-in before tomorrow night's big triple header that will air on Showtime, 9 p.m. Eastern. The main event, the inimitable, the ageless, the alien light heavyweight champion Bernard Hopkins. He'll defend against Carol Morad, breaking his own record for being the oldest fighter ever to defend a world title. Also on the card, WBO middleweight champion Peter Quillen will defend against Gabriel Rosado. And also, 29-0, 29 knockouts, heavyweight Deontay Wilder, the future of American heavyweight boxing, will fight Nikolai Bertha. We're getting ready for the weigh-in right now. Let me bring in the unified super lightweight champion of the world, Danny Garcia. Great to be here with you. Oh, I'm happy to be here, man. It's going to be a great night at boxing tomorrow, and I'm ready. You see the alien perform. There you go. Now, the alien, Bernard Hopkins, is from Philly. You're from Philly. He's 48 years old. You're 25. That means he's old enough to be your father. How do you even make sense of what he does at this age? Oh, man, his name says it all, the alien. Um, a lot of people can't do what, he, what he's doing right now. He's, he's old enough to be my dad. And, you know, sometimes I look at my dad, and then I look at Bernard and be like, yo. <laughs> Is that the same age? <laughs> yeah, so, oh, man, it's, it's incredible. He lived a clean life. He, you know, he trained a couple weeks at my gym for this fight, and he trained so hard, man. He's, he's a uh, dedicated fighter, and I'm ready, I'm ready to watch a great night tomorrow. Well, we're looking forward to it. We're going to throw it up to Jimmy Lennon Jr. now, and we'll be back with Danny later. Jimmy. Ladies and gentlemen, a very good afternoon to you, and we welcome you to our official weigh-in for our big fight card coming away, brought to you by Golden Boy Promotions, Caesars Atlantic City and Showtime, sponsored by Corona and AT&T. We'll begin our weigh-in with our opening Showtime Championship boxing attraction. Ten rounds of action for the WBC Continental America's Heavyweight Championship. First, we invite to the stage, he is the challenger, a veteran of 32 professional bouts. Please welcome Nikolai Firtha. And now up to the stage, ladies and gentlemen, here is the defending champion with a perfect record of 29 wins, no losses, with 29 wins coming by way of knockout. Please welcome the bronze bomber, Deontay Wilder. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we invite to the scale, first, once again, the challenger joining us from Akron, Ohio. Please welcome the stone man, Nikolai Firtha. Two hundred fifty-two and a half pounds for Nikolai Firtha, 252 and a half. And now, ladies and gentlemen, here is the U.S. Olympic bronze medalist with all 29 of his wins coming by way of knockout. He is the undefeated WBC Continental America's heavyweight champion, ranked number three in the world, the bronze bomber, Deontay Wilder. Deontay Wilder weighs in at 224 pounds. 224 for Deontay Wilder. Fighters are going to square off now. I've never seen a fighter eat at a weigh-in while on the scale. That's a first.
And there they are, ladies and gentlemen, big heavyweights in action. Opens up Showtime Championship Boxing. 10 rounds of action for the WBC Continental America's Heavyweight Championship. Well, there you have it. Very interesting stare out with a little bit of chatting going on. And if Deontay Wilder can stop eating, we'll get him down here and talk to him. <laughs> Deontay will be with us for a, in a minute. He is remarkably consistent with his weight. This is the fifth fight in a row that he's come in within a couple of pounds. He was 224 today. He's always right around 223, 224, 225. And as you saw uh, while they were staring each other out, Nikolai Firtha, unusual for Deontay Wilder to be fighting a guy almost as tall as he is. Deontay Wilder six foot seven, and Nikolai Firtha about six foot six. And Firtha coming in at uh, 252. A little bit more than he weighed for his last fight when he was 246. But of course, there's no pressure at weigh-ins for heavyweights because it doesn't really matter what they come in at. What matters is that they're in, in fighting shape. And Deontay Wilder is getting dressed, and he'll be with us in a minute. Once again, 29 and 0, 29 knockouts. Deontay Wilder, and here he comes. We'll speak to him now. Deontay, first of all, I'm a little bit insulted. You know, it's very rude to bring food somewhere and not bring enough for the announcers. I know, right? Especially for the younger guys that uh, that are looking to eat after the weigh-in. You know, no disrespect to them, man. Just, you know, I like excitement. I like to be an entertainer. And, um, you know, that's what the heavyweight division needs, man. And um, I'm definitely going to be the one to bring that back, man. Just not exciting the ring, but outside the ring as well, because I'm really a silly guy, man. Well, I see that. What were you eating? Um, short, shortcake. Strawberry shortcake, which strawberry is my favorite fruit. And, um, you know, I just wanted to, you know, I'm in shape, man. So, you know, I, I wanted to, I always had the plan of coming to a way and eating some kind of cake, man. And it's, it, was, it was good, too. Oh, my goodness. Well, Thank I can tell you, every other fighter on, on this show who has to make weight hates you right now. I know, right? <laughs> All right, let's talk a little bit very quickly about the fight. You're 29-0, and 29 knockouts. With a record like that, that brings certain expectations. Yet you don't seem phased at all by the expectations, by the word potential. You seem energized by it. Is that accurate? Oh, most definitely. I'm excited. You know, um, I don't feel no pressure. I don't, I don't, you know, uh, I know a lot of people got a lot of expectations for me. A lot of people want to see a lot of things, but a lot of answers, it's about to be um, answered um, real fast, real soon. So um, I'm looking forward. I'm just, I'm just allowing myself to let God do His will, do His work. And but when God does His work, you can't, you can't, you can't rush what God has for you. You got to stay patient because if you don't, if you rush it, then you'll miss out on your blessing. I'm not trying to miss out on nothing. I'm gonna let you go because my neck is stiff. <laughs> Reaching up to talk to you, but we wish you a lot of luck tomorrow and take care of business. And we'll see if you go to 30. You know, with 30 knockouts. Well, seven. Thank you. Good luck, Deontay. All right. Let's, uh, let's throw it back to Jimmy. All right, fans, here we go. We're ready to weigh in the WBO Middleweight Championship of the World, brought to you by Golden Boy Promotion, Caesars Atlantic City and Showtime, sponsored by Corona and AT&T. First, we invite the challenger to the stage. He is ranked the WBO number nine middleweight in the world. Please welcome King Gabriel Rosado. On the other side, this time. You'll see my ass thing, okay? And now, ladies and gentlemen, we invite the defending champion making the second defense of his title. Here is the WBO middleweight champion of the world, known as Kid Chocolate, Peter Quillen. All right, fans, here we go. We invite first to the scale, once again, the challenger. With a record of 21 wins, six losses, one no decision, he has 13 wins coming by way of knockout from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Please welcome King Gabriel Rosado. Rosado weighs in right at the limit of 160 pounds. 
And now, ladies and gentlemen, we're ready to invite the challenge, of, excuse me, the champion to the scale. 29 and 0, 21 knockouts from Brooklyn, New York, the undefeated WBO middleweight champion of the world, Peter Quillen. Peter Quillen weighs in at 159 and one quarter pounds. 159 and a quarter pounds. Both fighters make weight. Quillen coming in about a pound under the 160 pound division. Gabriel Rosado, who's only been a, mi a middleweight for about three fights now, he comes in right at the limit of 160. There's been some uh, some trash talk between these two. So let's see what it looks like when they uh, when they do their traditional post weigh in stare out. And then we hope to talk to both guys. And there they are, ladies and gentlemen. It's a world championship, WBO middleweight championship of the world. Kid Chocolate, Peter Quillen, King Gabriel Rosado, Showtime Championship Boxing. I believe we're going to get Gabriel Rosado first. So you may want to hide the women and children because my first question is going to be what were Rosado and Quillen saying to each other there during that stare out? It looked pretty nasty. Couldn't hear it from where I was standing, but. Gabriel Rosado? I just said to the viewers, uh, hide the women and children, because I want the first question I want to ask you is, what did you and Peter say to each other there? <laughs> My mom, Ryan. <laughs> Somebody else's mom is around right. here. I mean, I really ain't got no talk, man, for real. We gonna talk in the ring. My hands gonna do the talking. I don't got time for all that. I mean, kid wanna act like, I mean, I, I'm used to that shit, man. That shit is nothing. At the end of the day, we stepping in the ring. So it's about the fight now, and the next time you yeah, see him, yeah. obviously he'll be opposite you in the ring. Yeah. Your first shot at, at the middleweight title, you didn't really feel you were a full-fledged middleweight then. You do now. What's the difference? Yeah, I mean, it was just an opportunity that presented itself that I felt like I, I mean, it was too good to turn down. But, um, you know, this time around, this is my third fight at middleweight. I'm comfortable at the weight class now. You know what I'm saying? I don't really think I can make 54 unless I really you know, made an extra effort to do it. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if I really want to do that unless it's worth it. So I'm good at 60, man. This is where I'm at. I'm going to take the title on Saturday, bring that shit back to Philly, and it is what it is. So everybody here at Caesars Atlantic City is listening. Tell us exactly what's going to happen tomorrow night. It ain't going 12 rounds. I guarantee that. He going to be on his ass. Gabriel Rosado oh, talking good. Thank you. Good luck, Gabe. And to follow that, Kid Chocolate, Peter Quillen, the WBO middleweight champion, undefeated, making his second defense, correct? Yes, my second defense. All right. How is this different than winning the title and defending it the first time? In other words, analyze Gabriel Rosado for us. Well, you know, usually you, I, I, in the street, I would beat up a sucker and get arrested for it, but this is the first time I can beat up a sucker, get paid for it, and I get arrested for it. The two of you were talking there up on the stage when you did your stare out. Who started the talking and what was said? Well, we, he been started to talking. He been telling me he gonna knock me out. I don't gotta take that lightly, you know. At the end of the day, he can say how much he be a street guy he is, but you know, when God made a street, that last street guy, he made another one in me. So I'm not really worried about nothing to say. Like we said, um, Saturday night is all about the fight. And what's gonna happen tomorrow night? Well, he, he said he's not going to tour around, so I can expect him getting his ass knocked out. 
Kid Chocolate, we appreciate it. Good luck tomorrow. Uh, most important, I want to thank all the fans and everybody that made this fight possible. I put a lot of hard work into it, and my mission is bigger than boxing to inspire people to do what they want to do in life. Thank we'll you. We'll see you tomorrow. Thank you. All right, we're going to go throw it back up to Jimmy Lennon for the main event. All right, fans, we're ready to weigh in the main event. 12 rounds for the IBF Light Heavyweight Championship of the World, brought to you by Golden Boy Promotion, Caesars Atlantic City, and Showtime. Sponsored by Corona and AT&T. We invite first to the stage the challenger. He'll be making his first attempt at a world title. He's ranked the IBF number two light heavyweight in the world. Please welcome Carl Murat. And now, ladies and gentlemen, here is the defending champion. One of boxing's all-time greats from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Please welcome the IBF light heavyweight champion of the world, Bernard the Alien Hopkins. All right, fans, here we go. We invite our fighters to the scale at this time. We begin with our challenger with a record of 25 wins, one loss, one draw, with 15 of his wins coming by way of knockout. Joining us from Berlin in Germany, please welcome the challenger, Karo Murat. Karo Murat weighs in at 174 pounds. And now, ladies and gentlemen, here he is making his 30th appearance in a world title bout. He is the oldest boxer ever to hold a world title. He is the defending champion. He is the ageless wonder, the one and only Bernard the Alien Hopkins. Bernard Hopkins weighs in at a ready 172 and one half pounds. <laughs> Bernard Hopkins, interesting, comes in two and a half pounds under the light heavyweight limit. That's not unusual for him. And I'm going to talk to him about it when he comes over. Morat right around the limit of 175. Kara Morat, the challenger in this fight, was a super middleweight till uh, a few years ago. He's been a light heavyweight for a while now. Of course, Bernard Hopkins holds the all-time record for title defenses by a middleweight champion. Then he jumped to 168, and now he's 175. Uh, we're getting ready for the stare out. There they are, ladies and gentlemen. It's the main event of the evening. 12 rounds of action for the IBF Light Heavyweight Championship of the World. Bernard, the alien Hopkins versus Carl Murat. Wow, Carl Murat giving Bernard Hopkins, who used to be called the executioner, the slash sign across the throat. And I think we're going to get Bernard in a couple of seconds here. Because I'm an alien. I can make middleweight if I want to. Here is the alien Bernard Hopkins. All right, so Kyra Morat gave you the slash sign across his throat. That's something we're used to the executioner doing. Yeah, but you're guy, not the executioner. That guy's anymore. in Richard's office right now. 
The execution is a mannequin in Rich's office, but there's still something historic about that. Keep all your memorabilia. Don't get, don't get rid of that stuff. The execution stuff is a historic uh, situation. But um, now in the back, the, you know, the secret is out. I am the alien, and that's what it is, and we're going to start from there. There's a couple of alien masses around here. Where y'all at? There's a few. Okay, there's one. Okay, there's a couple. Okay. Bernard, you told me many years ago that when you look a fighter in the eye at a moment like that, you see something. Now, yeah. you told me you saw fear in his eyes I at the press game. conference. What I, do you see now? I see a game guy, but, but scared. But he's coming to fight, and that's why everybody's here at this press, this weigh-in. And they was at the press conference, and they're going to be at the fight. This guy's coming to fight. I'm going to break his will early, and I'm going to give a good show for my people. You came in at 72 and a half, two and a half pounds under the limit. That's a statement. You, you used to do that bro at the middleweight, bro too. Bro, that's a statement. That's why I came in 72 and a half, because I wanted to come way below the weight I was supposed to fight. And I'm 49 in a couple of months. I'm 14 months from being 50. That's a statement. Live good, live clean, stay in shape. I heard and it. I ate this morning, bowl of oatmeal with raisins. Deontay Wilder was eating on the scale. You should have been eating on the scale. You could have had a well, whole meal me, and still make me, weight. You see me eating a day, too. At, at, the the at the median talk, we said that I ate a couple of pound apples, you know. What's going to happen tomorrow? Slices. Bro? What's going to happen tomorrow? I'm going to get my uh, drought is going to be over tomorrow, and my drought is this. The last time I had a knockout was 2004. I need a knockout tomorrow. I need a knockout. I'm going to be smart with it, but I'm going to need a knockout. That's something. I got to get this itch off my back. Bernard, we wish you luck. Good luck. We'll be back with Danny Yo, Garcia in a moment. No, no, we can't go nowhere yet. I got a surprise. Come on. Come on. Where's the surprise at? Are we still rolling here? Yo, Richard just turned Is that for me, Bernard? a couple of years, a couple of months older than me. <laughs> Happy birthday, Richard. Birthday. Thank you. Richard Come Schaefer, on, the CEO off. of Thank Golden you. Boy Thank Promotion. Should, should I cake you? <laughs> <laughs> You can be sure Bernard won't be eating any portion of this cake. Happy birthday, Golden Boy, CEO Richard. Thank you, Bernard. We'll be back in a moment. What's the purpose of your visit to the United States? Business. I need your eyes on Carrie. The Iranians are watching her, too. Well, I'm not talking to you. Why aren't you in the nut house where you belong? You got surveillance all over you. Target's on the move. They realize you're not who you're supposed to be. They'll just kill you. I'll do whatever it takes. Did I get made? She's on her own soul. She's always been on her own. Twenty-four weeks. Listen for yourself. Is that the harpy? Just because you can't reduce it to a number doesn't mean it doesn't exist. It, meaning what, uh, chemistry? Yes, that spark. Men don't know what they want, sweetheart. That's why they have wives. People are mysterious creatures. You, my dear husband, being the most mysterious of all. I don't want to live with you anymore. Not meant to do this alone. I could toss a ball around with Henry. What did you miss? Did you miss something? Do not pin this on me when what's really eating at you is your own guilt. I am your wife, and I want the truth. On the next Laugh Out Loud, Showtime's premiere showcase for today's hottest comics. What's going on, y'all? America's got Nick Cannon. I'm looking at me with my outfit on. I look like I'm about to pop lock for y'all, don't I? And he's taking a walk on the freak side. I can prove it tonight that women are way freakier than men. Watch this. Fifty Shades of Grey. <laughs> they can't even contain themselves. <laughs> Calm your freaky ass down. Nick Cannon premieres Saturday, November 16th. And be sure to catch a special in-studio intro from Nick Cannon himself. Brace yourself for the award-winning shows everyone's talking about. Only on Showtime. Dexter. Homeland. Ray Donovan, Masters of Sex, Big Hit Movies, Showtime Sports with nonstop action, only on Showtime. Order now and get ready for what happens next. Brace yourself. Order Showtime now and you can get $25 cash back. Visit SHO.com order or call now. 
All right, Steve Farhood back here at Caesars Atlantic City with Danny Garcia. There they are, ladies the heavyweights, of course, they came in about what we expected. The middleweights, the light heavyweights, everybody made weight, which I know is a relief, but a lot of talking going on during those stare-outs. What do you make of all that? Oh, man, it's going to be a great night of boxing, man. I'm very interested in that uh, Quillen Rosado fight. That's going to be a that's going to be a main event in itself, and then, and then the alien follows up another main event. So it's going to be a great night. It's going to be a lot of fireworks, man. It takes a big pair to do this when you're fighting Bernard Hopkins. Do you agree? Oh, man, he's the executioner. So for you to do that to the executioner is like, oh, man, you got to be careful what you wish for. But I'm pretty sure he's ready. Uh, Murat's ready for the for the task ahead. Bernard's going to use a lot of experience. He's going to gonna try to take him to the North Philly alleyways and, and beat him down. But I'm pretty sure he's prepared. And he wants to be world champion. And um, let's see what he brings. Danny, to get away from tomorrow's card for a minute, to talk about you just one second. You're coming off that huge win against Lucas Matisse. Where do you at? What are you considering doing then? What would you like next? Uh, right now, I'm just resting, um, you know, letting my body rest, letting my brain rest. I'm still going into the gym, training little kids, and um, help feeding my knowledge, trying to get the youth, um, you know, get them out the streets, help them stay focused. And, um, you know, I'm, I got a business. I got a barbershop now and stuff like that. So, you know, I'm, I'm trying to be a little businessman between fights. And, uh, you know, I'm just staying I'm just staying focused, and I'm trying to do good with my life. And um, hopefully I'll, I'll get a fight in the first quarter of the year. And I'm back in there and entertaining my fans. Danny Garcia, 25 years old. Bernard Hopkins is 48 years old. Now, Danny Garcia at Danny Swift, that's at Danny S-W-I-F-T, will be tweeting tomorrow night. And uh, during the Showtime broadcast, remember that broadcast will be on at 9 o'clock Eastern. It's a big triple header on Showtime. Uh, Peter Quillen will be defending the WBO middleweight title against Gabriel Rosado. Heavyweights Deontay Wilder, 29-0 with 29 knockouts, will be taken on Nikolai Firtha. And in the main event, the alien Bernard Hopkins defends the IBF light heavyweight title. And uh, we, uh, we want you to join the conversation. It's hashtag, let me make sure I get this right, Hopkins Morat. Hashtag Hopkins Morat. That's the hashtag on Twitter. And for more news and information, go to sports.sho.com. We look forward to seeing you tomorrow night, showtime, 9 p.m. Can Bernard Hopkins do it again? We want to thank Danny Garcia, and we'll uh, see you tomorrow night. Steve Farhood at Caesars Atlantic City. Thanks a lot. presents Bernard the Executioner Hopkins, a living legend. At 48 years old, he's the best light heavyweight in the world. Now the ageless warrior puts his title on the line against top contender Carl Marat. Plus undefeated middleweight champion Peter Quillen battles Gabriel Rosado and heavyweight sensation Deontay Wilder returns. Oh, it's a big night of action. Tomorrow at 9, 8 central, only on Showtime. What's the purpose of your visit to the United States? Business. I need your eyes on Carrie. The Iranians are watching her too. I'm not talking to you. Why aren't you in the nut house where you belong? You got surveillance all over you. Target's on the move. They realize you're not who you're supposed to be. They'll just kill you. I'll do whatever it takes. Did I get made? She's on her own soul. She's always been on her own. Twenty-four weeks. Listen for yourself. Is that the heartbeat? Just because you can't reduce it to a number doesn't mean it doesn't exist. It, meaning what, uh, chemistry? Yes, that spark. Men don't know what they want, sweetheart. That's why they have wives. People are mysterious creatures. You, my dear husband, being the most mysterious of all. I don't want to live with you anymore. Not meant to do this alone. I could toss a ball around with Henry. What did you miss? Did you miss something? Do not pin this on me when what's really eating at you is your own guilt. I am your wife, and I want the truth. Brace yourself for the award-winning shows everyone's talking about. Only on Showtime. Dexter. Homeland. Ray Donovan. Masters of Sex. Big Hit Movies. 
Showtime Sports with nonstop action. Only on Showtime. Order now and get ready for what happens next. Brace yourself. Order Showtime now and you can get $25 cash back. Visit SHO.com slash order or call now.